Apple just announced a new iMac that finally, after 9 years, got a design overhaul. To me this design is, in many aspects, a reference to the very first iMac, the G3. I mean, it has the different color variations, the white bezels, but most importantly the same target. When Steve Jobs returned to Apple, he envisioned this 2x2 matrix of Macs Apple should have made, because at the time Apple had a massive lineup of just slightly different products, it was extremely confusing for the users and the Macs themselves were also very boring and uninteresting. So, he decided to invest all of Apple's energies in creating just 4 Macs, 2 for the basic users, 1 desktop and 1 laptop, and 2 for the professional users, again, 1 desktop and 1 laptop. Of course, the basic user's desktop ended up being the iMac G3 I mentioned before, and this new M1 iMac seems to have been created for the same exact purpose, really. The marketing, and again, even the design, make this very clear. But as I said before, Apple also made a laptop for the same basic users, the iBook. This one was marketed as the iMac to go. Can you tell why? Yeah. And the design of Apple products in general, not even just the Macs, continue to be somehow consistent across all products all the time with each new design fed. Why shouldn't they do the same thing again? A new MacBook matching this new iMac in aesthetics, target, and thanks to Apple Silicon, functionality as well. So, the main iconic design elements of this new iMac are obviously the colors, the white bezels, the thinness, and they are also very boxy. Taking all of this into consideration, here's my vision of how the next MacBook will be. To start, the screen bezel is white, but that was the obvious part, since it already was like this not only on the new iMac, but on the old iBook as well. Though, unlike previous models, there aren't any logos or writings, not because I think it looks better, but simply because this is how it is on the iMac. Very simple and minimal. The keyboard is also white, again, like it was on both the iBook and the iMac. As you can see, all the same colors from the M1 iMac are here, but as you may have already noticed, all the variations of this new iMac, except the silver, have this two-tone design. The back and the sides have these very bright and saturated colors, while the stand, chin and peripherals, virtually all the parts the user sees when it's using the computer, are lighter. I think they may have done it this way to prevent the user from getting tired of the color, but I am not sure. Anyway, to maintain this AMA concept, I made it so that the bottom part of the laptop, the one with the keyboard, I.O. and everything else minus the screen basically, has this lighter color, while the brighter colors are reserved only for the screen part, so that during use the user won't be distracted by the saturated colors that will instead be shown to everyone else. Basically how it already is on the iMac. As you can see, it's a lot boxier and more square than the original, like all the new Apple products, while I still kept the wedge shape not only because it's an iconic aspect of the MacBook Air design, but also because of the ports, because maybe by flattening the body it could become overall thinner, but then I fear that with such a slim design, only the thinnest USB drives or cables would actually fit inside the ports when the Mac is on a table. I know there are some rumors about the return of Mac safe on MacBooks, it would kinda make sense considering that the new iMac has this magnetic cable, but I really hope they aren't true for the simple fact that having another type of MagSafe that's completely different from the one on the iPhones would just make everything a lot more confusing and for the love of god, we don't need another cable. The USB-C, Thunderbolt, whatever it is, is fine. For the price, I'm guessing it'll cost the same as the new iMac, maybe just a little more like $100 or $200. By the time it comes out, because remember they already have not one, but two M1 MacBooks, this will probably have the M2, the next baseline Apple Silicon. What's not really obvious in this case is the name. Yeah, they could just name it MacBook Air again. They are still using the Air word in their product names after all. They just released an iPad Air with many color variations like this new iMac and maybe the new MacBook. And this MacBook is specifically meant to replace the current MacBook Air. But this new iMac is just called iMac, not iMac Air or something. Also, do you remember when they made the ultra thin redesigned MacBook in 2015? I think that was even thinner than the current MacBook Air, but it was just called the MacBook. So, I don't know, it could go either ways, I guess. So, did you like this concept? Would you consider buying it if it was real? Let me know in the comments. Ciao!